oh my goodness, look at this gorgeous purple glass. It's definitely recycled and it might be Vidrio San Miguel. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's almost Thanksgiving, but I had to squeeze in a trip to Goodwill amongst all the holiday preparation. And I brought two fun family members with me. We have my son, Jake. Hi. And my mom. Hello. Hi. We're going to go into Goodwill, see what we can find. Let's, Let's go, go thrifting. thrifting! It's really windy and it's quite busy. It looks like everybody had the same idea. Oh, you know why? It's senior day and seniors get a 40% discount today. I wonder if mum will be able to find some good things for 40% off. We also have to remember to look for the colour of the day to see what items we can get for a dollar. <laughs> I've given Jake a little allowance and he gets to choose whatever he wants to buy. We'll see what Jake comes up with too. Okay, let's see. I'm looking through the door. The color of the day is green. Let's go in and see what we can find. So let's grab a shopping cart. Let's put my bags in it. I remembered bags, not that one. It doesn't have a front holder. This one is better. There we go. Let's have a look at the Christmas section that they have put up in the front of the store here. Jake's found a car right off the bat. <laughs> Let's see, it looks like they've got lots of plates and dishes up here. The mugs. Some decorations. Fun little sign. Some bags and wraps and Santa hats. Oh, look at this turtle. <laughs> I know exactly who this is going to. Danny the niche lady collects tortoises and turtles. This is going to be perfect on her tree. <laughs> Let's see. Some little Christmas candles, ornaments, a little dog with a Santa hat. Check up on the top shelf. It's a tree topper. And some. Oh, look! There's two more of these little velveteen bunny stockings. I've got two of them at the booth. I think I'll grab those in just a minute. It's a Mrs. Claus stocking. All sorts of materials. Okay, let's grab these two bunnies for a dollar ninety nine. Pop them in the cart. Okay, let's head on back to the hard goods section. It's quite busy today. 
So I'm going to have to avoid some folks, I think. While we're walking, we are going to spend a little bit of time at our new house this week. My dad and Chris are going to create a path uh, on the side of the house for our trash cans. And mum and I are going to spend some time giving the kitchen and the cabinets and the pantry a really good deep clean so that when we move in, everything is ready to go. I have a few boxes already with some pots and pans I don't use all the time. So it's going to be perfect. Here we are in our first row of the hard goods. Let's see what we can find. The shelves are quite full today. There's a little dragon. He's fun. Let's see. Lots of little angels. Oh my goodness, look at this hippo planter. <laughs> I don't think he's terribly old. Uh, he's just made to look old with lots of crazing. But he's so fun. Look at that face. I have to get him. Let's put him in the cart. <laughs> Let's keep going on this shelf. Some ashtrays. Lots of dolls down at the bottom. That big glass dome has migrated over here from the kitcheny bit section. That's a pitcher. It's quite lightweight. Not good quality. The little leaf. It's made of glass. It's quite fun. It's got some good weight to it. I think I'm going to put this in the cart and have a think about it. This is also fun. It's a little flower paperweight. I think it's a daffodil. It's $1.99. It's got a price sticker on the bottom. So this is one I can look up and see what it's going for on eBay. There we go. Put that in the cart, get my hands free. This is a cute little fox plate and a canister, $2.99. Let's have a look at the plate. I think these are very modern pieces, so I'm going to leave those for somebody else. Quite a fun little pair over here. Also modern. He's made in China, quite lightweight. That looks very mid century modern, but again, made in China. Let's have a look in the candles. Let's see what we have today. Lots of different tea light holders. Always check these. These could be fire and light. This one isn't. Fire and light is very distinct, very thick, heavy glass, really well made. There's some margarita glasses over here. These are quite nice. Collector plates down here. Some leaf plates, checking for crate and barrel, which sell quite well for me. This is an onyx horse, looks like he was part of a bookend. Candles. Little flip-flop tea light holders, those are fun. The end of that aisle was really busy, so I popped around the corner uh, to the next aisle and uh, having a look at the overflow Christmas mugs here. There's a few candles and plates as well. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, 
drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Some vases, more mugs and glasses here. Little ornaments. More plates and bowls and bows and bowls. It's a wreath. So much Christmas here. <laughs> Some little cards here. Nativity set. Tags, labels. I'm reaching through because I saw this pineapple here. It looks nicer than it is. It's a really lightweight metal. Bit damaged, unfortunately. Oh, it's a big pumpkin. <laughs> These little hats are planters. They've got several of them. Probably used as uh, centerpieces on some tables. Disney cut mug is damaged. Lots and lots of Christmas. head around the corner here this aisle is the metals lots of tins and baskets wall hangings at the bottom here oh this is interesting scripture uh, items do quite well for me Let's do sailboats, so I think this is a good pickup. It's uh, a wall hanging and also a tabletop frame. Lots of hangers. Really big candlestick there. These look interesting, they look like pine cones. Oh, they're really lightweight metal. Racks, candle holders. There's a wine rack there. All sorts of decorative items. Moving into the brass and the chrome and the silver plate. There's some stocking holders. Some big sconces. That poor giraffe is still here. Then we move into the florals down here. Oh my goodness, look at this gorgeous purple glass. It's definitely recycled and it might be Vidrio San Miguel. Let's have a look. There's the sticker, it is. Look at that, Vidrio San Miguel recycled glass. It's only $3.99. Let's get that in the cart carefully. Right there, perfect. Let's see what else they have. 
Look right. at this little frog. Friday. Oh, he's great. So fun. Really nice piece of pottery there. We'll take him and there's one other piece I saw. Again with little frogs on it for a dollar ninety nine. These are great for uh, lucky bamboo plants. Let's pop that in the cart too. These sell almost immediately for me. <laughs> There's a pink vase here. That's more of a florist's piece. Crystal bowl. That's uh, quite lightweight. Not ever such good quality on that one. That's interesting. Little white vase. Has an Ikea look to it, doesn't it? It's not marked. Let's see. I almost missed the second piece of purple glass, but my lovely son, Jake, was very quick to point out that, Mum, there's another one. <laughs> and it is another one. Now I have a pair. Perfect shape, beautiful color. Let's gently lay it down here. Oh, look at that, that's perfect. Even better. As we turn around, we're in the wood and the frames. What's this? Oh, I think this is a wine rack here. Let's leave that. It's quite heavy and awkward. Lots of signs. Those coasters are still there. Hey, the little train. Let's see. Some trays. Some really big candle sconces. Hooks. Two cute little bear bookends there. <laughs> Those are fun. Hopefully someone will come along and give those a fun new home. Oh, look at these coasters. They're stone. Thirsty Stone is a good brand. They're really pretty. In their holder for three ninety-nine. I'll take those. Lots of baskets up top as usual. There's some quite nice ones. Knife blocks. It's a walking stick. It's a carved walking stick. That's interesting. We're in the kitcheny bit style. Lots of bowls, glassware, canisters, all sorts of sizes. Gonna have a look at this carafe. It's two dollars, but it's really lightweight. I'd be a bit afraid to ship that. Down here we have an English trifle bowl. 
you can tell that it's a trifle bowl because it's really deep on the sides. You put sponge fingers down the sides and then fill it with jello and put custard and cream on top. Here's lots of canisters, pitchers and jugs. So many things. That was a candle holder. Corn holders, pedestals, again it's quite busy so I'm having to film around people squishing up from time to time. Oh look at this, this is a nice piece of art pottery. Looks to be in good condition. No chips on the lid. I really like the colour. Little star decorations. Almost look like little pom-poms. The swirl on the bottom. There is a mark on the bottom. I'm not sure what it says, but I like that a lot. So it's going in the cart for $5.99. Perfect little spot. Let's keep going. Some more coasters here. Black marble, they're quite nice. Ooh, look at these horsey ones in the container. They look quite vintage. Uh, probably not as old as I think they are though because they've got a barcode They're only $2.99 let's see American Expedition stone coasters they're in nice condition lovely horse face on the front there Yes, I think I will take those for two ninety nine. My cart is filling up. These are pretty oh <laughs> I thought those were glass, they're plastic. Had they been glass I would have picked those up. They're lovely rainbow colours. Made in China piece. That's part of a little uh, Japanese tea set. Travel mugs. Miscellaneous shelves here. Pots and pans. Oh, those are cute little dash and corn holders. <laughs> Two sets of those. You know, I'm actually going to pop those in the cart and see what they sell for on eBay. They're just unique and fun enough. Lots and lots to look at in this miscellaneous section. All kinds of flatware, utensils, and sets on the top shelf. 
some dinosaur pancake molds. What did you find, Jake? A sword? What kind of sword? Oh, that's really a nice one. Let's see the handle. Oh, that's a good job. Do you know what? Let's see. It might glow. Do you want to use my black light? Use my black light? Let's see. We have partnerships with hundreds of local employers, and you might be the one they're looking for. Visit goodwillvegas.org for What'd more you think? information. Does it have batteries? Does it light up on its own? Yep, Oh, it lights up on its own. Okay. Good find, son. We're in the glasses. Just having a look, see what they have. This is a little Scotty Dog creamer, I was told by my subscribers, <laughs> and uh, that I should look it up on eBay. I'm going to pop it in the cart and see what they're currently selling for. Lots and lots of glasses as usual. I'm being extremely picky at the moment. This looks a little bit like fire and light from the bottom, but it isn't. Um, picky because I'm currently in the midst of packing and moving. Uh, as you know, we're having work done on our house, so we're splitting our uh, packed boxes between two houses we can't put anything upstairs at our new house because we're having the floors completely redone and the bathrooms completely redone so i have to be a little bit careful how much i buy and what i buy not seeing anything outstanding in the glasses they're very well organized today look at these nice rows <laughs> Lots and lots. Here are the mugs. Looking for anything brand name, anything interesting. But again, I'm going to be really selective. First, because we're moving, and second, unless a mug is something really special, it doesn't bring a whole lot of profit. These look like Fiesta wear, but strangely, they're not marked. Probably a copy. With Fiesta Wear, the rule is if all the letters are lowercase, then they're um, old pieces. If the first F is capitalized, then uh, they're newer pieces. This is one of those mugs that changes color uh, to reveal a hidden image. I think this is a shark, but um, sadly it is damaged on top. Having a quick look in the dishes and the plates. See if anything jumps out at me. These look like Pier 1. They are. I don't think this pattern is a big seller though and for somebody who doesn't like shipping plates very much <laughs> I'm going to leave those for someone else. This is an old English plate. 
It's a dollar ninety nine. It's Mayotte's fine white ironstone. It is extremely crazed, sadly. Let me try and angle it so you can see what I'm talking about. There we go. Look at that crazing. It's caused by changes in humidity and heat. Of course, in Vegas, uh, we have an extremely dry, hot climate, which is not good for English China. This is a piece of restaurant ware, Syracuse, is it? Yes. Lots of platters this time of year for Christmas cookies and uh, all sorts of plates. That's a nice set. Fun fall colors. Here's a piece of corral. It's always a good idea to look up corral patterns because sometimes you'll find one that's uh, quite sought after and the profit can be great. That's what I'm going to do on this one. Just going to look it up and see what this pattern is and how much it's going for. It's a really good way to learn. These look pretty. Pier 1 again. If you enjoy selling plates, you can really make a good profit if you know what to look for. Look at this cute little Easter chick. <laughs> so cute. These are fun little cows. They're very modern, but uh, very fun. These look a bit like Mary Engelbright, which sell very well for me. I don't think they are. They're just a similar pattern. This is the wall where they have all kinds of odds and ends in different baggies. Oh, look at these. These are those really nice chunky corn holders. And they fit together so they're not pokey in your drawer. All different sorts of things from ribbons to pens to cards, labels. It's always good to have a look at this wall because, as I always say, one good thing in a bag can really make it worth it. This is the clear glass shelf that I skipped over because it was a bit busy when I got here. Let's see what they have. Oh, this little dome looks like the one up here. Let's put them together as a set. There we go. Here's a candle holder, 199. 
Oh, there's the Aurifors candle holder that so many of you <laughs> said I should have picked up last time. I'm going to put it in my cart this time. It's a lovely bubble pattern. You just look at this while I'm here. I think that's imperial glass. Now I'm sure it has the Aurifors etching on the base. Just going to make sure that the other one isn't lurking around here. It isn't, but I will take this single candle holder for four ninety nine. There we go. Okay, let's have a look and make sure none of this is uranium. It lights up. I have my handy black light here. I get these on Amazon. They're really reasonable. They come in a pack of two. They take um, the little AAA batteries. And if there's a piece of uranium glass on the shelf, it will glow green. Not seeing anything today. But as so many of you remind me, it's always worth a look. Look at these. These are vintage lucite bowls. And those are real butterflies and real floral pieces inside there. And they're only 99 cents each. I don't know how I missed those last time. I want to have a look at this rug. Oh, it's a wall tapestry. That's quite nice. Let's see if I can flip the tag to see how much it is. No, that's not going to cooperate. Let's see if I can do it. $5.99. That's just not terribly exciting, so I'm going to leave that for someone else. They just wheeled out a new cart of treasures, so I'm going to have a little peek and see if I can find anything right on top here don't want to be in anybody's way wonder what that chicken is down there oh it's it's a wind chime let's see This bin is full of glass. I'm seeing quite a heavy looking vase here. Just wondering whether it has a etched mark on the bottom that would tell me the maker. Let's put it aside for a minute and see what else there is. Very full bins here. I'll just pop that in the top here with a few other bits I want to check. Have one more look through. Then I'll we'll head through the furniture and call it a night. This is the miscellaneous section. I don't often look through here. Oh, look at these. These are cork boards. And my daughter, Miley, was talking about having some of these in our new house. So I'm going to grab these for her. And ooh, it looks like there's another packet here. Brand new ones. That's just perfect. I love it when I'm thinking about something that I need and it's right there on the shelf. This is really the catch-all of miscellaneous stuff in this aisle. All sorts of odds and ends and tools and pens and just, I think if they're not sure where to put it, this is where it goes. 
little party section shelf here. Stationery, pen boxes, notepads. Coming over here is the pet section. Always like to have a quick look here. It's quite a fun zebra mug there. Christmas sign. So walking on through the furniture into the art, we're just going to make a big circle around. Oh, look at this clothes closet. We're not going to be able to use our upstairs for a few weeks, so this might come in handy to have a few clothes uh, protected. Lots of art today. Saw the signature on this angel, so I wanted to see what it was. That uh, golf cross stitch has some damage there, a big stain. That's unfortunate. not really seeing anything I have to have look at this chair oh my goodness it's all tapestry on top it's only $5.99 it's definitely vintage possibly antique I do want to flip it over and have a look at the base and the tag. So ever so gently I'm going to pop it up here on this chest. Look at that old tag. Hickory Chair Company. That is a great old company. They make amazing things. have a quick walk around here on our way out it's a really big hall tree look at that just want to have a look at this nightstand because it looks quite old you can always tell the quality of furniture by looking at the inside at the way the wood is joined together if it's dovetailed and joined nicely it's old in quality this one isn't ever such good quality although i think it's a quite old piece i'm over at mum and dad's house to do the haul because mum wanted to share an item that she found so here on the counter is everything that we found at Goodwill. I'm going to let mum go first with this lovely thing that she found. I found this Pier 1 Imports handcrafted cookie jar. It's in the Carinthan pattern, which is a really nice floral design. 
it was actually 7 99 but it was green tag so it was half off so four dollars and it has a very nice snug fitting lid with a silicone gasket and i did actually find another item but i can't show that to you yet because it's for you and i, <laughs> and I have to do something to oh it. yes it's for you and how mysterious yes so it's cliffhanger <laughs> i'll have to show you that in a future video oh how exciting <laughs> The first thing I found was this lovely little Santa turtle tree ornament. And this is going to go to my dear friend, Danny, the niche lady. She has a fabulous channel. She drops videos every single day. So please go look at her channel and subscribe. And uh, she will be having this lovely Santa turtle on her tree for Christmas. And also, bonus, I found this lovely box of American Expedition stone coasters with horses on them. But sadly, when I took them out, there's only three of the four in the box. And because Danny loves horses and there are three in her family at home, she will also be receiving these. Next, we have this fabulous Majolica vintage vase. It has a really sweet little frog on it. He's raised, he's a bit uh, cobwebby and dusty. And there's also some, are they bamboo shoots or lotus blossoms on there? Needs a bit of a clean. I believe this calcium residue will come off with some uh, vinegar but I paid $3.99 for the vase and I value it at $40 to $45. Right next to it was another little frog vase with bamboo and frogs on it not as good quality not as detailed as you can see this one i paid 199 and i value it at 15 to 20 dollars i found another set of coasters these ones came with a holder they are thirsty stone i paid 3.99 for them and I value them at $15 to $20. In my last video, I had several comments saying, you should have picked up the candle holder. It's Aura Fours, it's Aura Fours. It is, in fact, Aura Fours. It's, uh, I'm not sure what the pattern is called, but it's like a bubbly finish. I paid $4 for it and value it at 15 to 20 dollars these are san miguel glass they're a beautiful purple recycled glass they're made in spain i found one on the shelf and as i was editing i saw in the background the other one and luckily my son came along and said Mom, did you know there's another one of those over there? So I'm very glad he was paying attention. You can see the Vidrio San Miguel sticker there. 100% recycled glass, handmade in Spain. I paid $3.99 each for them, and I value them at $30 each. Items with scriptures on sell really well for me. This one is a sailboat and it's Jeremiah 29. It can be a wall plaque or a freestanding frame. 
I paid $3.99 for it and I value it at $20. Over here is probably my favorite find of the day. It's a little hippo planter. He's got such an endearing little face and he's very crazed. He's made in Japan. I don't know if you can see the finish on him. It almost looks crystallized. It's a lovely piece, $2.99. And I value him at $40 to $45. Back here we have a couple of Velveteen Bunny stockings. They're really sweet. This one is a little bit of a darker brown than this one. They make a lovely pair. I paid $1.99 each and I value them at $15 to $20 each. This canister is a bit of a mystery. It's a really nice glazed pottery. The inside of the lid and the bottom are signed Larissa. It's finished all over. Really nice sort of either floral or pom-pom design. Swirl on the bottom. There's the signature on the bottom. I wasn't able to find anything on the internet about Larissa, so I'm going to assume that it is a project piece, very nicely done. I paid $5.99 for it and I value it $35 to $40. Last but not least, we have these fantastic Lucite bowls. They both have real butterflies and real floral pieces within the lucite or acrylic. I paid 99 cents each and I value the set of two at $30. Um, what do you value your Pier 1 canister at? Well, I saw a few on eBay, so probably around $30, $35, I think. That sounds about right. Yeah. $30 to $35. It's a lovely piece. Looks hand-painted to me. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the haul. And please stay tuned. We're going to have a sneaky peek of what we completed at our new house this past week. We're here at our new house and we are removing some of these pavers from around the driveway and we're actually going to make a path out of them so we can wheel our trash cans through easily. My dad's working hard here. Senior abuse. Senior abuse. <laughs> Senior abuse. We've already done this side, it looks so much better without those pavers. I'm going to take you around and show you where they're going to go. This is the side of the house and we're going to use them to create a path down here so we can easily bring our trash cans through. We do have to get uh, some permits from the homeowners association um, or not permits approval to make any changes to the outside of our house but once that's done we can go ahead and build our path let's take you inside the house we'll go through the garage When you come through the door, there's a little powder room 
to your left. The kitchen is to your right and there's my mother. Hello. She's up on the ladder cleaning the top of the cabinets. <laughs> it's a bit greasy up here. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Years of uh, greasy dust, I think. Yeah. It's a lovely kitchen. We've got some super granite countertops, lots of storage, some really nice appliances. I'm just thrilled with it. I love this really nice big sink. And some little storage shelves there. Here's a view of the whole kitchen. And my favorite part is that it looks out, as my dad through the window, <laughs> onto the backyard. So as you come through the kitchen, this is going to be the living room. This facade on the wall here looks quite nice from a distance, but as you get close, it's really not very good quality. It's just not, as you can see. So we are going to take this whole facade out including this electric fireplace which awkwardly sits out from the wall and put in a nice big screen television up here and some storage down here. I'm hoping to get plantation shutters all the way around another thing we need to get quotes for. This little pass-through nook to the dining room is really nicely done in these stone uh, bricks here. And as you go up the stairs here, we've got a lovely big dining room and another little sunken living room. It has a built-in mirror. I'm not really a fan of these two sconces, so those will go. I'm going to have my big 155-gallon fish tank against the wall here. There's a plug, which is perfect. And we need to look for a little console table. It can't be very wide to fit right here inside the front door. And then all the way up here is another inset. And I'm hoping to find a really big mirror to put there. Here's the upstairs. And I am going to show you the work that we're going to have done upstairs in the next video.